Carmelo Anthony and Kevin Durant, two names forever etched in college basketball history as great freshman forwards. Now a new name has emerged to perhaps join them at the top, Michael Beasley. Leading the nation in rebounding, the K-State Frosh has racked up 14 double-doubles in 15 games this season. This past Saturday, he had the game-winning basket against Oklahoma, Kansas State's first win in Norman in more than a decade, ending their five-game road losing streak in conference openers. Here to talk about it all, we are joined by the reigning Big 12 Player of the Week, Kansas State freshman Michael Beasley. Michael, let's go back, not just to this past weekend, but the Xavier loss that you guys suffered on New Year's Eve. You had just five points in that loss, but you survived, you've moved on. What did you learn from that game? Um, just, just to, to stay humble, you know. Uh, that game was just a bad game for everybody, especially for me, only hitting one field goal late in the game. So that, that just taught me to, to stay humble and, and, and just let the game come to me. The game obviously came to you against Oklahoma. I mentioned that you hit the game-winning shot, and I think there was about 2.3 seconds left at the point. Take us through that moment, because I can't imagine you've forgotten it. Um, honestly, I don't know what happened. Uh, the play didn't really go as planned, but Jacob Pullen made, made a great play you know, on the ball to, to, to get, get me a shot for the game winner. You were under the basket, and you didn't dunk. Why not? Oh, because I... I, I was scared because I thought they was going to call a charge at first, so it, it, it kind of frightened me a little bit, so <laughs> I, I just laid it up trying to be nice nice to the ref. Game winner, but did you take any heat from your teammates for not dunking there? Oh, yeah, I'm still in that <laughs> today. Like, they they tell me all the time I, I need to start dunking more. Uh, I just brush it off, though. Well, I mentioned Kevin Durant before, and you guys have known each other since you were 11 years old. You played rec ball together. What advice has he given you, first of all, just about being a freshman player with so much expectation right now? Uh, he just told me to, to, to take it slow, you know, don't, don't try to rush anything, don't, don't try to rush my shot, you know, just, just let the game come to me, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job of that so far. From what I read, you guys talk fairly often. What, what do you guys talk about? Dumb stuff. Like, we don't talk about basketball or anything like that. You know, we just, uh, when the next time you're coming home or uh, when you like, when his next game, you know, uh, just like unnecessary stuff. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> what about, he's somebody who left after his freshman year and went to the NBA. How much thought do you give that right now in a freshman campaign, the success that you're having already? Uh, to me, it's still a dream, you know. It's, it's not a thought process. You know, I, I, I'm dreaming about the NBA right now. I don't, I don't think that my game or I, I don't think that I'm ready enough to be in the NBA right now. So I'm, I'm still fantasizing about that. So would you go at the end of this season, though, if you felt that you were more ready? Uh, if I felt that I was more ready, but I, I don't think, like, I highly doubt it. Your mom writes a blog, which is some great stuff. It's on the Wichita Eagle newspaper, and it's called Mama Says. And I, I was reading some of it. She gives away a few trade secrets, if I can say. What's the most embarrassing thing that she's written on there that you wish she hadn't said maybe about you? Uh, she told everybody I was scared of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still scared of the dark? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> there, there was a SpongeBob reference up there, too. That one's not, not the worst? Oh, no, nah, I, I suppose by my man. That's my homie. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're also the practical joker is what we hear. So have you played a practical joke now on your mom to sort of get back for giving away the fact that you're afraid of the dark? Oh, no, nah, but she got one coming. You know, I, I ain't got, got to it yet, but <laughs> it's definitely coming. <laughs> you also celebrated a birthday last week and uh, 19 years old. Uh, best gift that you got? Uh, just just hanging out with my family and teammates, you know. I, I didn't really ask for nothing too much, just just to, to chill out, you know. We had pizza and cake over at my mom's house with, with a couple teammates, so that, that was the best gift for me. Well, Michael, we wish you the gift of future success this year in the college ranks. I'm pretty sure we'll be watching you come March. Thanks for joining All us. All right. Thank you. And Kansas State right now, 11-4 and four overall, 1-0 and oh in the Big 12. You can check Michael and the team out when they take on number 9 Texas A&M Saturday on ESPN, 4 o'clock Eastern time. And don't forget, tomorrow night, a little ESPN hoop action for you. ESPN Wednesday night hoops presented by Staples. Number 5 Duke taking on Florida State at 7 Eastern, followed by number 1 North Carolina against Georgia Tech at 9. You can catch it all on ESPN. Dana, I think that's the first time we've ever heard anyone say sponge.